Five degrees port, and then continue straight forward. You got it, Blondie. Hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles? He's not New York underground crawling with crocodiles. Oh no, I'm from Texas. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Blasco. Find your way through the bombed out city and reach the state building. Faster the better. Fergus out. Ich erwarte regelmäßige Statusberichte. Melden Sie mir alle Anzeichen verdächtiger Aktivität. Jawohl! Na ja, klar, dass ich wieder nichts schieben muss. Hör auf zu jammern. Du bist nicht der Einzige. Genieß lieber die Ruhe. Das ist es ja gerade. Es ist zu ruhig. Hier ist seit Jahren tote Hose. Was sollen wir denn da einsehen? Test? Weißt du, wie die Amis die Gegend hier nennen? Nein. The City of a Million Ghosts. So viele sind hier durch die Atombombe verrennt. So ein Unsinn. Ja, finde ich auch ein bisschen zu dick aufgetragen. Sind ja selbst schuld. Wer mit dem Feuer spielt, verbrennt sich die Finger. Nein, ich meine, hier sind garantiert mindestens drei Millionen verreckt. Die können echt nicht zählen, dämliche Amis. Stimmt, ja. Und was ist...
Das war nach der Bombe einer der ersten in Manhattan. Unglaublich. Wäre ich doch dabei gewesen. Unglaublich, ja. Alles war noch heiß, aber das gehört. Keine Bewegung! Alles klar! Jetzt habe ich dich! Geh 
See if there's some way to power up this old train. Okay, train's got power. Let's find the controls and see if it moves.
William, do you read? If you are on Fifth Avenue, the State Building should be near. showed me postcards from your family in New York City. Wanted to go there. Just you and me. to reach the top of the state building and make contact with the resistance group. Look for elevators, stairs, anything. The radiation levels should be acceptable at the top of the building. Your voice, Anya. Every second, a glory. Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What do you say? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? 
If you ain't a white ass fascist Nazi pig, then you either colored or you're a deviant. Now you sure as hell ain't colored, so you trying to pass as a deviant? He look like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn Nazi. Hey! Now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now. Or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Lady, I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a death. Oh, he's got a sick sense of humor. Oh, uh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh, oh. Chili, okay? It's my papa's recipe. Ain't got no spoon, though. Oh, thanks. So what's, uh, with the chicken fence? Chicken <laughs> That's That's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the, the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. Oh. I almost got killed by William goddamn Blaskowitz. Yeah. Oh. Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time when I came up. Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno, you know what I'm saying? I remember the main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams that went through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? You... Shit. That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. Now why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of badassery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I got, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them, coming up the stairs. They're gonna fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, you got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya, 
We're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on. Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white-ass fascist Nazi pigs! safely evacuated off the roof. Jump in, Blasco! fighting every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? Huh. They done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Well, forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. I got... I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. And if nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz! You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? 
You want to cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's going to send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit. Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right. <laughs> what do you think about this, man? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Max Hoss? I don't know, Maxilla. So this is where all the decisions are made. <laughs> We're gonna need a room to sleep nearby. This one looks empty. Super Spash! Hey, Englishman. I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Please. Say what? Please. You ask for something, you say please, and don't fucking call me English, man. Okay, you want to step to me, motherfucker, you want to get shit done. Because I'm game either way. Don't, uh, don't mind that. Absolutely no control over the thing. Happy to oblige. What's up, boss? We bunking in here. Oh, you got it, sister. All right. Listen up, brothers and sisters. The, uh, touchy Englishman is going to show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around. Find a place to bunk in, get to know the boat folk, and hey, don't start no shit. But don't take none either. Okay, now. Uh, what well, the kind lady said, follow me. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed up the entrance to Section F. Because it's been flooded since the attack. Blaskowitz, you know how to swim? <laughs>